Having the Ferrari name on my race suit and on my helmet for next year is going to be a big confidence boost going into 2021. Having people behind me already to be able to push through and if I keep doing my job properly, there is a big pathway to Formula 1. I think Ferrari has a huge and a lot of history behind them as well. Um, if you walk to anyone on the street and you ask about Ferrari, they'll know exactly who you're talking about. So it's a big name to have on my helmet, on my suit for next year, so it's very, very good. Uh, so I've been involved in karting for now six years, three time Australian champion um, in karting, 14 time state champion in Australia, I finished second in the European Championship in 2018 um, in Rotex Max, um, then in 2017 I finished third in the World Championship. The experience was one of the best things I've ever had, uh, it was really tough, the whole week was uh, really competitive with the other people that were there. Um, mentally it was very tough, waking up very early in the morning and not getting back to the hotel to late at night which was one of the hardest things I've done but overall it was a very good experience for me. Um, I worked very hard the whole week and obviously it's paid off. So I start next year um, still in karting because of my age, um, then for 2022 I'll drive Formula 4. So that's the stepping stone for the next two years, um, karting and then Formula 4. Hopefully in five years time I'll be on the way of into Formula 2 would be the ideal situation um, but I think Formula 3 or Formula 2 would be a good end goal in five years and it's, I'm very proud to be able to do it even for Australia.